Hello friends, in this video we are going to talk about data manipulation in Excel. So here we have a blank Excel sheet and let's say the value that you want to export to the Excel sheet is not in a proper format or maybe like in a format in which it is pipe delimited. So you want to put these um, columns into the proper order in Excel sheet. If you copy it from here and then paste it here, it's not going to paste it in a clean way. So if you look at it now, the A1 column has all the details. So it was supposed to have the employee ID at A1 and then B1 should have had the name and C1 should have had the department and D1 should have had the salary. But the columns were not populated properly. So what you can do here is you can select the column A and then go to the data menu and then in that there is an option called as text to column. So in this one you would be able to specify the delimiter value. So these are all the common delimiter values but ours is not among them. So I'm going to specify a custom delimiter and then I'm going to press apply. So now we have the data populated properly across multiple columns. So what are the other things that we can do to play with the data? So we can specify a filter. So now we have like filters for the column. So using this filter, you would be able to sort them using an ascending or a descending order, or you can specify some filters on it, whether it is equal or greater than. So you can do um, many filterings on top of this data. So what are the other useful things uh, Excel has to offer? Um, there is an option to remove duplicates. So for example, we can choose this column C and then we can say remove duplicates. So it is asked, gonna ask like, okay, expand the selection or it's going to be for only the column that you want selected. So now I'm like doing it for the entire table so which is the reason I didn't find any any duplicate values but if I just select column C again then if I do remove duplicates and then I do a original selection and then go ahead with OK so now it has removed my duplicate values and I have only three unique values but in this example it doesn't make sense but I just wanted to show you a, how a remove duplicate would work so the real case of remove duplicates would be something like this. Sales 50,000. So in this case, if we do a remove duplicates, it removed the one duplicate value which from which is Anna. And then we only have the 10 rows initially which we started with. And then there can be other um, data validation that can be done. Like for example, in data validation, I can specify, make sure that I uh, the user specify a specific value and doesn't specify any chunk value. For example, I can say status. So what is the status of the employee? Is he active or terminated? So in that case, what I can do is I can do a data validation. So I'll do a data validation here and then I would say list and then I would say active comma terminated. And then in the input message I would say status of the employee. And in the message, I can say that employees, employee status with the company. Error alert. Not a valid status. Only valid status. Statuses are active and terminated. So now 
I can expand this to everything. And now here I can say active terminator active terminator. So here you are getting a pop up which says that this is the status of the employee and what is the actual meaning. So what is the actual meaning of this column? This would let the user um, get an idea of what type of um, column it is and what type of value should be given. And then if you type a wrong value, mm, not found, then it would throw an error saying that not a valid status. And then it would throw the error message which you have written only valid status is of active and terminated user would be able to specify either active or terminator and continue with the process. So this is the basic data manipulation that you can do with um, Excel. Um, we can look at more advanced uh, data manipulation with Excel in our future videos. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get updates of the new videos getting posted. Thank you. Bye bye.